Hey, 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 Talent Dance TV viewers, or I like to call you TD TV viewers, how are you all today? Once again, it's me, Stuart, back in screen interviewing for you. All right, and I had hope you had a fantastic New Year's. Me, personally, I did nothing. All I did was I stayed in watching Final Cut Pro X tutorials online. But oh well. Anyway, I am with this amazing, wonderful person. She is a professional dancer who's done such things as appear on such shows as So You Think You Could Dance, Move Like Michael Jackson, and dance for such people such as Justin Bieber, um, Far East Movement and LFMAO or however you say their name. <laughs> All right, anyway, so I'm going to let her introduce herself. So, amazing, wonderful person. What is your name and where are you coming from? My name is Laura Paris. Uh, I come from Belgium. I just recently moved to London, got to know Stuart. I'm a professional dancer, choreographer, model, singer. And uh, that's why I came here to like um, ah. explore. So Laura from Belgium, Belgium, Belgium. And with that, let's start this TDTV interview. Off. All right. Hey, Laura. So you are a professional dancer who recently moved to the UK. Lord knows why you'd actually want to come here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm actually joking, people. The UK is not that bad a place to live. A lot of people complain about it, you know, but there are far worse places you could be living in, facing worse hardships. We get free health care over here after all. You might have to wait for a while to receive it, but at least it's free. So stop complaining. Anyway, Laura. So yeah, obviously you're here now in the UK from Belgium. What was your decision to come here? Um, well, I always had a dream to come to London. Um, and since I really didn't have anything left in Belgium to yeah. stay for, that's why I decided to come to London. Like I did everything in the dancing scene that I could accomplish in Belgium. So now London. <laughs> now London. You come here yeah. to conquer London. I like yeah. that. I like that. All right. And now it seems since you were young, you've had a creative lifestyle and professional training. And throughout most of your life, been in some sort of dance education, which is giving you, in the words of Big Nasty, your base, your base. And can everyone dance say it? Base. My base. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can you tell us about your journey to how you got to where you are now as a dancer? Uh, yeah, well, it's quite funny because as a child, I was super active and my parents didn't really know what to do with me. Yeah. So they sent me to dance classes. I started when I was four. So that's really young. And I kept doing it until I was like age 13. The artistic director of the school, which I was attending to my hobby school, he said like, "Whoa, there's an audition for like an education towards dance in Antwerp. Maybe you should do it because I think you have like what it takes. The quality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, whoa, I didn't know that that existed. So I did the audition and I was accepted. So see, woman of many talents. <laughs> yeah, I never knew. She's, but got, she's got that star quality. Yeah. All right. So um, do you think you have reached the pinnacle of your dance training? Or do you think you will continue to search for new um, dance education in your dance field? Please tell us. You know, kind of like the saying, always a student and never a master. Yeah. So please tell us. Well, what you just say, like always a student, never a master. I totally agree with it because like I feel that you never stop learning as a dancer, as a choreographer. There's always something else to explore. Like there's always something new coming up. There's always new people inventing new things to work with. So... Yeah. I'm not done learning. Even though I'm a professional dancer, I'm not done. You're not done. Also, no. you know, so even when you're like 60 years yeah. old or something, you're going to still be there. I'm going to um, still be there. <laughs> <laughs> still be there, learning new things and all that. Mm. Okay, so that is good. Mm. Now, um, we know that you're a very creative person already. Already, Wait, have I actually seen... Wait, yeah, don't worry, people. I was just checking. I weren't reading out the same question <laughs> again. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So new question. Yeah. Now we know that you're a very creative person already, a very wonderful person, spectacular person, amazing person, a very um, beautiful dust person. Um, yeah. What am I saying? <laughs> um, yeah, I know. Sorry, people. I'm losing my words. All right. So we know you're all that. Okay. Um, can you tell us about some of the other creative avenues you've taken as a dancer? You know, example, your gymnastics and your jujitsu. And do you think this is helping with your dancing? Please yeah. Tell us. Okay, so when I was younger, like what you just mentioned, I did a lot of gymnastics and I feel like it helped me during the dancing as well because like I'm able to do flips, do tricks, like cartwheels. I'm yeah. quite uh, strong in balancing. So in that way, like it helped me. You know, so she could run up walls like Spider-Man and everything like that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still working on that. Still but okay. On that. And I also used to fight when I was younger. Like I did uh, jiu-jitsu, it's self-defense. Yeah. And I really like martial arts. So... You will see if you go check out some videos, like you will find elements from martial arts that I have included in my dancing. So it all 
like fills up to each nice. other so she will kick your ass people and <laughs> dance circles around you so watch out you know and i, I like that i like that you combined yeah. both of them both creative forms into your dance style that's very unique and you can do that too if you aspire and train hard <laughs> all right laura so um yeah can you just quickly reel off the dance styles that you incorporate into your style um uh, especially ballet modern contemporary graham um break dance hip-hop chess dance afro flow work so that's a, a lot, lot a lot of styles and i'm surprised you have time to do all that and fit them all in you know so that's pretty amazing see don't limit yourself to one style you can do whatever you want <laughs> all right yeah. anyway thank you laura for coming on the show uh finally bam could you tell the good people at home um any social media or links that you have where people can follow you at and what advice would you give to those who are currently studying to become a professional dancer or aspiring please tell us um first of all you can find me on instagram you can follow my dancing things Make over sure there don't. yeah that's <laughs> laura paris official i also have a youtube channel with my videos posted on it i have a facebook page for my art, like an artist page and i also have a facebook profile so go check that out um and next to that i can only say that if you really like what you're doing that's like really good like keep training keep practicing don't give up if you get like a lot of no's like i had a lot of no's during my uh, career already but when you get that yes and when you get that job like keep it as a motivation and work even harder become better every day and as long as you love what you're doing then you're in a good place all right thank you all right um so people yeah remember please go check her out follow her she's amazing and dope do all that stuff smash the like comment i mean smash the like comment i don't know <laughs> smash the like button on this video share this video to your friends leave a comment in the comment section below and most importantly subscribe to talent Arts tv like our facebook page uh follow us on twitter and instagram yes we have instagram now laura anything else to say make 2016 your year yes make it your year i have got to say the show laura did called move like michael jackson i actually auditioned for once and they said i was shit get lost go away hit the road <laughs> you know well they didn't actually say it like that <laughs> no. but you know they just said no oh but oh well you missed out because i'm doing this stuff now and you can have me on your show anyway uh thank you laura once again for coming on and till next time peace thank out you. guys and enhance peace the out. dance remember enhance it yeah. Yeah.